Well, howdy, friends. It's your old pal, the Slick Rock Stranger. Yeah, usually you'd find me down in southern Utah, roaming the canyons and checking out the rivers down there with my brothers, even stranger and way stranger. Yeah, we'd be down there doing our patrols for the Loose Rock Safety Patrol, making sure all them rocks are looking the way they're supposed to be looking, you know. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. But anyway, they're not here with me today, and I'm just here to sing you a song, kind of a nationwide PSA. This thing's is a little bit crazy and totally out of whack. Now, before we get started, just want to remind you, I sure hope everybody's masking up and keeping everybody safe, you know? We're living in times like we've never seen before, and hopefully we never see again. But if all we got to do to keep everybody safe is wear a mask and wash our hands and keep some distance, that's not too much to ask, is it? Really? Like the great Tom Hanks said, you know, it's for the betterment of society. Americans usually are pretty good at getting common sense for the common good. But you know, there are some yahoos out there that can't see the good in that. They're out there saying that being asked to wear a mask is against their constitutional rights. Well, that's a bunch of hooey. Talk about putting the dumb in freedom. I call them patriot actors. Some people call them petri dish patriots. But the fact of the matter is they're not patriots at all. In fact, they're acting un-American. I don't know what constitution they looked at, but if you take a look at the preamble, the beginning of the document, it talks about promoting the general welfare. That's why they wrote the dang thing. It also talks about ensuring domestic tranquility. Well, what the heck could a mask... How, how is wearing a mask going against that? If you want to support the Constitution, put a mask on and keep each other safe. You know, it can't hurt. We got hundreds of thousands of people in this country that have died. Hundreds of thousands of families that have been affected. Millions of people, friends and family of the people who've passed away from this. And who's the head of this all? The clown prince of stupidity up there in Washington, D.C. My God, is that the wrong guy to be leading this thing? He totally failed on leadership. Catastrophic failure of leadership on this. And not just that. Now we come to find out he lied to this country the whole time. He knew how dangerous this was. And these lies are in his own words on tape. So we know what to do. But, you know, he's there in D.C. and they put him up in one of these press conferences, and you saw it on TV probably. He actually asked one of his leading doctors in the United States, somebody on his coronavirus task force, about injecting disinfectant into people's bodies to control the virus. He said he's being sarcastic. Well, he's full of baloney. You know he was being serious. You saw it yourself. Now look, folks, I did this shirt up, but this is a joke. Okay, this is a joke. Don't take it serious, please. But judging from all the calls to the poison control centers and the ERs around the nation, some people didn't get it. So I think it's time for a nationwide PSA to set people straight on this idea. It's called the Lysol Song. I shouldn't have to tell you this, but now it seems I do. Don't inject Lysol, it will not be good for you. Scares the daylights out of me. November can't come soon enough. We all know just what to do. Bring on a leader that will make this world safer. A little sanity would be good too, yeah. Let's all pull together and we'll make it through. There's no limits to what we can do. some people of this land, yeah, it's 
bringing out the best in some people of this land. Well, there you go, folks. Don't be injecting no disinfectant into your body as a stupid idea. But hey, don't forget now, we got a chance to change the direction of this country. It's more important than ever to do so. So remember, one, two, oh, two, oh, two, one. We'll be dancing in the streets with the rising sun. Why's that? It's inauguration day. That's right, and the invites to the party are being printed on November 3rd, election day. So it's up to us, especially at the times like we got now, to make sure our ballots are gonna count. So get with your local voting clerk's office, make sure you're on the rolls, make sure you get the ballot in the mail, and make sure you get that ballot back in time. It's way important this year, more important than ever. And if you need to look it up on the internet to see what your situation is, go to vote.gov, V-O-T-E dot G-O-V. Find out how it's done in your area. But however you do it, please take care of business. It's our time. Well, until next time, though, here's to happy trails and blue skies. Take care. Thanks for listening.